Greetings, beautiful boys and girls, and welcome to Learning with Avant-Garde Books. I'm Sheree Hardy, and I hope that you and your family are well. Today, we're going to be learning about a very interesting animal. It's called the Hoffman's Two-Toed Sloth. Well, before we get started with this lesson, I would like for you to make sure you're in a very comfortable place you're relaxed so you can learn about the Hoffman's two-toed slob. Wonderful boys and girls, the Hoffman's two-toed slob that you see in the picture is also known as the northern two-toed sloth. It is a species of sloth that is from Central and South America. It is solitary, meaning that it's normally by itself, largely nocturnal, which means that most of the things it does, it does at night, and arboreal. And that means that it spends a lot of time in trees, it's found in mature and secondary rainforest and deciduous rainforest. Deciduous forest means that it wanes during a certain season. The common name, which is the Hoffman's two-toed sloth, commemorates the German naturalist Carl Hoffman. And we'll see a picture of him at the very end of this slide. Let's keep learning. The Hoffman sloth is one of the most interesting animals in the world. First of all, the sloth hangs upside down in a tree almost its whole life. It also has very unusual fur. Take a look at a dog's fur. It grows from the dog's back and hangs down toward the belly. The sloth's fur grows in the opposite direction from its belly to its back. So even though rain falls on this sloth about four or five times every day, the rainwater runs right off the sloth's fur. There is something even more amazing about this sloth. There is a little line in each hair. Inside those lines grow tiny green plants called algae. There is so much algae living in the sloth's fur that it makes the whole animal look like a clump of green moss. The sloth, when it's in the forest, is sometimes almost invisible. The Hoffman sloth has three toes on its back feet, but only two claws on its hands. The claws are long and sharp and help the animal hang upside down for its whole life. The sloth can also fight with its claws. Because sloths hang upside down so much, their back muscles are very weak and they cannot walk. If they go to the ground to get to a new tree, they drag themselves along with their claws. The sloth does everything upside down. It eats, sleeps, and has babies while it hangs in a tree. Most of the time, it does nothing except eat leaves, fruits, and small twigs and sleep. Amazing scholars, I hope you learned something about this very interesting animal 
called the Hoffman Sloth. Well, if you're wondering how the animal got its name, it is named after a German physician and naturalist named Carl Hoffman. Dr. Hoffman was born in what is now known as Germany. He studied at Berlin University. And in 1853, he and his wife and a friend traveled to Costa Rica, which is in Central America, to collect natural history specimens. At some point, Dr. Hoffman ran a small consultation clinic and a pharmacy from his home. Unfortunately, he died in 1859, very young, from typhoid fever. Many animals are named after him, and one of them is the Hoffman's Two-Toed Sloth. There's also the Hoffman's Woodpecker, and there are many more. Well, boys and girls, thank you for watching, listening, and learning with Avant-Garde Books. Take care. Thank you for watching this educational video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.